Yes, it is going on, people. It is me, JC, one of the best reacts on YouTube. So, my God, like some people might not like this episode because, like, they're like, oh, there wasn't a lot of action in it, or was a lot of talking. But this gave me everything that I needed. First of all, if we just kind of just look at it, Winsome, Byron, Byron came in there, kind of like, you know, who are you? I heard you're with the intruder and he's like, look, it's all I needed to hear was you with the intruder, right? Attacks Winsome. Winsome tells my boy to heal. Like, bro, heal, sit down, bro. What are you, what are you doing? Like, why are you even here? Beret has to come in and stop the madness, but my boy down, sitting on his butt. Like, I, I love to see it. I, I loved it. But let me digress for a quick second. There are a few things that were confirmed that I had guesses on that I made videos on the number one that my boy, the best friend, Arthur's number one, Elijah Knight is from Elacria. Now, we, of course, we kind of figured that we kind of assumed that because like Vitra, the Vitra clan is the one that we learned that has been manipulating and kind of experimenting on Elacria. And we learned that the person who killed uh, Aaliyah wasn't an Ashura. I thought it wasn't Ashura. I thought it was a god, a deity. But it was none other than an Alakirin that has been experimented on and made stronger than a white core lens. Basically human, if I had to assume and had to guess. And they have the potential and, 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 and the technology to make a person stronger than a lance who has the uh artifacts that make them white course that's scary enough but the modified one from Alacura has the black metal spikes that come out of the ground that are so fast that can that can kill a lance that can kill other things without them even knowing that it's coming and we saw that elijah has this same power we saw that when Juneve saw the, this, this power, that he was like, hold on, I know you, I know who you are, I know who you're supposed to be. And he took Elijah Knight. So we found out that Elijah was taking, he was taken back to where he came from, as Winsome said. That is number one. Now, number two, the thing that I called that I was very excited about during my live reaction. So if you see, uh, my live reaction was at twitch.com slash always Jay Carson. The link is down below. I did call that the gods, the deities, the Asuras, as they call themselves, are kind of, they have a treaty, right? They're not going to fight each other because fighting each other would cause basically worldwide destruction. The, the fighting would be crazy. It would just kill everything. They're too strong. So... They decided to make a treaty and they're actually using the continents of Lacria and Decathan to basically fight their war, kind of settle their dispute, if you may, which is kind of messed up. But at the same time, it's what gods would do. And I kind of I kind of love to see it, to be honest, like a story that that, that gives you depth, gives you questions, has a whole lot of um gray area where you can kind of theorize and here's the thing we learned that uh all deer the other assurer that came with winsome um the dwarves were corrupt beyond uh saving which means that all deer killed him his lances are under his control I'm not sure really what that means but maybe he made some sort of contract Maybe he has them um, to the point of where they're not going to go against them. I'm not really sure what that meant, but at the same time, they let the uh, the Gladers live because they weren't so corrupt. They're, they're now going to be on our side, which is fine. I understand that they were important to the, and I guess important for the fact that their kids, I feel like their kids are going to get a lot stronger here in the next couple years when it comes to the war so you can't just kill off their parents and expect them to fight a war for you so keep them alive that's fine that's well and good and arthur is getting his own training arc he has to go to winsome 
go to the continent of Ephesus and get some training. Training art incoming. Hopefully we get to see the training art. Hopefully we get to see that training art plus how the kids or the students that were with Arthur around his age range get stronger also. Maybe they get some training from some silver cores, maybe the lances themselves, maybe the Mashura themselves. We don't know, but if you have not read a light novel, even if you have, just don't, don't spoil it. Tell which things are going to happen. Theorize, you know, use your brains because I, I'm kind of going all over the place, kind of trying to figure out what's going to happen because this is one of the most exciting times for t -Bay. We don't know what's going to happen. Only thing I know is going to happen is that Dekas is going to lose his war. They're behind the eight ball. They're 100% behind. Alakira has been interfering or Vitra has been interfering with Alakira and experiment on it for a while now. So we're already like in a five mile race and they're already three miles into it. But we're just now starting. So I don't know how they're going to win this war. I'm predicting they're going to lose it. So tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy and go follow the Twitch because that's where I'll be doing live streams. Sometimes I'll do them on YouTube, but Twitch is going to be the main one. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.